Hello there, and welcome to the Triton Tracker. The spring season is officially underway as baseball and softball both get their season started as both basketball teams near the end of the regular season. The baseball team opened play on Wednesday in Babson Park when it defeated the Weber International Warriors on the road 10-3. The Triton scored six runs in the final two innings, which included a two-run home run by Nick Hill in the ninth to blow the game open. EC saw ten players record a hit with five having multiple. Mitchell Colangelo led Eckerd at the plate with a 3-for-5 debut outing. Kevin Plant picked up the win after throwing four scoreless innings, striking out five batters. The Tritons then entered a weekend series of Flagler on Friday, dropping the home opener 7-2. Rowdy Andrews aided the Tritons with a solo home run in the sixth inning to put EC on the board. Lucas Lupa batted 3-for-4 with three singles to lead Eckerd. Saturday's doubleheader was canceled due to heavy rain with no makeup date yet announced. Softball opened its season with the annual Eckerd College Spring Invitational in Clearwater over the weekend. The Tritons dropped their season opener on Friday against Ursuline 5-4. Nicole Van Gennep impressed in her college debut inside the circle as she held the aerial scoreless through the first five innings of play, giving up only two hits before a five-run sixth inning powered the arrows to the victory. Van Gennep also led Eckerd with a 3-for-3 performance at the plate. Saturday's contest with Chadron State was cut short in the fifth inning due to rainfall, ending in a 3-3 tie which was Eckerd's first since 2010. Emily Knox led EC with a two-run single in the second and saved a pair of runs defensively with a diving catch in the shallow right field in the fourth inning. Their second game of the day against Nova Southeastern was rained out. The weekend tournament ended on a high note as EC took both games on Sunday. First, the Tritons defeated Florida Southern 3-2 before shutting out Lynn 4-0. Banganept earned her first career win against the Moccasins before Jana Gaburo picked up her first win as a starter against the Knights. Cabrero also helped at the plate with four RBIs on the day. Over on the hardwood, it was a rough week for the Trines men's basketball program as the squad dropped consecutive games for the first time all season. Wednesday's 82-79 overtime loss against Rollins was also EC's first inside the MacArthur Center all season. EJ Moody achieved a career-best 32 points despite the loss. On Saturday, EC traveled across the bay and suffered a 65-52 defeat at the hands of the Tampa Spartans. Moody led EC with 12 points, while Kevin Walsh followed with 10. The Trions are now a half game behind Barry in the Sunshine State Conference standings. Margaret Sundberg also set a new career high on Wednesday for the women with a 22-point performance. The 65-61 victory over the Tars was a result of the Trions shifting their focus to rebounding and defense. Ashley Folsom followed Sundberg with 13 points, while Victoria Vine added 10. The Trions tied a season high with 11 three-pointers as they shot 52.4% from deep. Casey Jude led EC with 11 rebounds, all of which coming on the defensive end. Tampa has been on a roll as of late in women's basketball, and Eckerd became a victim of the streaking Spartans with a 77-63 loss on the road. Folsom led EC with 24 points, while Vine's perfect 8 for 8 performance at the free throw line added 13. EC currently holds the 5th place position in the SSC standings. Thank you for joining us once again on the Triton Tracker. We'll be back next week with more Triton news.